Hello, this is Alex, and I'm going to explain Action Comics number one. Action Comics number one tells the classic Superman origin of a child sent from a dying world, found by a kindly couple, and immediately taken to an orphanage. While at that orphanage, they find that Clark has the power of interior decorating. When Clark gets older, he finds out that he can, uh, let's see, grow to the size of a skyscraper, turn his hands into steel beams, and balance on the toes of only one foot. I don't know, guys, I'm just looking at the pictures. So he decides to do what any normal person would do when they find out they have fantastic powers. Put on blue spandex and fight crime. That's right, so... The story starts off with Superman carrying a bound and gagged woman who is wearing lingerie. Um, I know this sounds bad, but it's not as bad as it actually seems, guys. <clears throat> anyway, Superman runs to the house and sees if he can get in. Knock knock! Who's there? <laughs> that door! He then decides to do an impromptu workout with a helpless man. Afterwards, Superman tears a steel door that Honestly, it's such an eyesore, you'd think that if you had a mansion, you could afford, like, wood paneling to cover the door? Anyways, uh, it turns out that this is the governor's house, and Superman is here to prevent a woman who's been accused of murder from being executed. The governor nonchalantly wakes up, as if the door to his room wasn't violently torn off the wall, and the woman is saved. <clears throat> oh yeah, and the uh, woman from the beginning was the real killer, and she had a signed confession, so uh, it's not as creepy as it actually looked when we first started the story. Anyways, the rest of the book has Superman stopping a wife beater. He, as Clark, goes dancing with Lois, who is delightfully snarky and sassy. He stops some thugs, and there's like a corrupt senator and some evil lobbyists in there too, which, you know, par for the course. Honestly, it's a fantastic read, and you can see how Superman blew up and really changed the world of comics forever. It has a strong supporting female character who's really smart, a hero who, well, kind of a jerk, stands up for the little guy in the defenseless, and is really just action-packed. Totally recommended, guys, and you should check it out.